the number six interception of all time. Barber cuts deep at the best. This was it. The Eagles were surely headed to the Super Bowl. This is the last game in the vet. What? After we win this, we're going to celebrate right here. All right, so it's the last game in the vet, and the Eagles look good. But the kicker, the cherry on top of the Sunday that nobody ever got to eat was that Tampa couldn't play in the cold, and it was cold that day. This Bucks team doesn't look the least bit cold. The Bucks were hot, but the Eagles were driving to get back in it. 327 to go, McNabb dropping, it's intercepted, at the 10, to the 20, He's gone. Gone. coast to coast, Rodney Barber, to the 50, to the 40, Barber to the 30, nobody's going to touch him, Rodney Barber, 10, 5, touchdown, Tampa Bay. You could just see him smiling the whole way down. And the more he smiled, the more I wanted to just punch my television screen. Boy, I'm going to San Diego. This is how I watched that play. I couldn't believe it. It was so awful to watch, and then I forever hated the Barbers. Both of them. I can't hear y'all. Where you going? What happened to the fireworks? Where you going? We're going to San Diego. San Diego. You shut it down. The shut the vet down. No more vet. I, I just, I imagine them, you know, what the outburst of emotion must have been. I remember my heart going from here all the way down to my feet and just sitting there just going, I cannot believe that that just happened. That is the last memory of the vet in my head, and that's never going to change. And we're still here years and years later, and that is all I can think about. We know that was devastating because it was the only time that the Eagles home crowd did not boo them coming off the field after a playoff defeat. The only sound was these muffled steps as thousands of people just walked out of the vet for the last time.